is gonna be the first video to start of a new playlist. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Pretty much as a as a as a self-taught graphic designer, you know, teaching myself everything I know on Photoshop. I want to then put into really small, compact videos everything I know about Photoshop. So obviously, I thought, you know, how can I help people, you know, sort of learn, even if it's just basics of Photoshop. So, for example, today's, you know, idea was teach people on how to remove things from an image within reason. Obviously, removing a whole ass person might be a little bit more difficult if there's a lot in the background. But if I switch scene, you can see I have a, I have a, I have an image of my channel, a screenshot that I took. Pretty much, I will show you everything that you can use to remove something from this image or any image that you use. Now, these videos from this playlist are going to be very short or ideally that I'd want them to be short. I want them to be compact so people just pick it up within minutes. What we can do is we grab one of these tools, uh, this lasso tool or this lasso tool, anything that lets you highlight. And pretty much say I just wanted to remove the subscribers. If I box this like this okay so that's box and i click on layer one because this is the layer i want to remove it from this is important you need to make sure that you click on the right layer right click fill content aware 100 opacity none of this all of this should be default but make sure that content says content aware okay and just like that we're done Control d to deselect and it's as if it was never there uh let's do it again with these we're gonna you know vary uh everything a bit Let's just highlight these, use the same tool, uh, right click, fill, content aware, okay, simple as that. Now it, obviously because this is one background, you know it's not a gradient, it might be a bit better to remove stuff off of something like that. If we were to try and remove this, I don't know how well it would work because of the background behind this. Again, fill, content aware. See it looks a little bit bad, but it depends what you're using the image for. The way we can fix this is another way we can actually remove things is the spot healing brush we could try this so you just kind of adjust the size make sure the hardness is on zero just kind of highlight it it maybe takes a little bit of the edge off again it depends what why you want to remove it and what it's going to be used for it, it works and the last thing i want to show because i don't want this video being too long is a tool called the clone stamp tool this one again zero hardness whatever size you want and then if you click if, if you click and hold alt and then press somewhere on the layer that you've selected so this it'll pick up this color pretty much oh if you hold alt and then press and then like go of alt and then you move it over you can see just briefly a little outline try and grab somewhere if it's all one color try and grab somewhere there rather than really close to here so if you move this you'll see on screen the little there's like a little bit that's been taken pretty much this just grabs whatever's on the background and lets you you know, clone stamp as it says. I hope that sums up the, I mean, that's the main tools. Realistic, that's, that's what, what we use pretty much to remove shit from an image. Obviously, I just take a screenshot of my channel just, just, just to kind of, you know, give me something to work with. Small things aren't a problem unless you do it individually or again, you use one of the other tools that I talked about like this one. That one works where you just kind of highlight over it. Or if you get a clone stamp, which is this one where you hold alt press it and then kind of just do that quick quick mention uh, the the intro to this video was done by my good friend bugsy uh his link's gonna be in the description follow me on twitch i'm gonna do a 24 hour live stream to raise money and awareness for uh gofundme link which i help a friend because uh his partner jen has been diagnosed with cancer i want to get as many people in that as possible as much money raised as possible Kind of difficult with a small community, but you know, anything's possible, I suppose. So I'm fully dedicated to stay for 24 hours on Friday the 14th at 6 p.m. UK time. Playing some Phasmophobia. We've got some new emotes as well, you know, to share on stream. So if you get free Prime sub on Twitch, you don't use, you don't use Twitch much. Feel free to Prime sub. Yeah, all, all links you need are in the description.